MCP hands-on tutorial. That is model context protocol. And it's a beginner's tutorial. So even a beginner should be able to create custom MCP. And we'll be seeing about integrating that with Cloud Desktop, setting up a custom MCP on Cursor and then Windsor. MCP is nothing but an universal USB port for AI, which means you are able to connect your AI agent to any external system. AI agent on its own performs a limited number of tasks, but integrated that with external system will supercharge your workflow 10 times. By basic, a normal agent or a cursor agent is able to read code base, update file, create file, delete file, and run terminal commands. But with MCP, you can add more features such as read write from a database, access API, talk to private data, chat with your own application, see what's in the browser and much more. There are already tons of MCP servers available for you to free and try it out on your computer. Previously, it was just a chat, then it became single agent, then it became multiple agents, now multiple agents with external tools. That is the power of MCP. So previously, it's limited code generation, isolated from your development environment, unable to access external resources. But with MCP, you are able to access browser console logs, network tabs, generate assets, integrate with APIs, connect to any service you need using MCP. You can get started today simply by finding useful MCPs, add that to your own IDE, then start commanding. Even if you can't find useful MCPs for your need, or if it doesn't work, you can create your custom MCP. That we'll see that today. Let's get started. With just one bit of command, you are able to create a custom MCP. This is the whole command, and I'm going to take you through step by step. So here is the result. This is the Cloud app running locally on my computer. So I just asked, get stock price of Apple. And it used MCP, the application which I created, and gave me the stock price. By default, if you ask the same question, without MCP, Claude won't be able to respond in real time. Similarly, this is my cursor, and when I ask the same question, get stock price of Apple, it was able to use the MCP tool and get the stock price. This is just an example, but you get the point. In similar way, you can integrate this with any API or any external services. I also integrate this with Neon, get list of projects in Neon. Now it's able to run the MCP tool, list projects, and able to get my list of projects. So there I got my Postgres SQL server. This is my Neon dashboard, and this is my database. And this is a serverless Postgres SQL database, so that when you're not using the database, it automatically shuts down. In that way, you are efficiently saving the cost. So now I can clearly create an application and talk to my database, ask the Neon MCP to save all the data to the database when required, create all the required schema, get the status of the database, everything from within cursor. That is a superpower. That is a simple use case. So first let's see how you can create your first MCP server and integrate that with Cloud Desktop. Cloud Desktop is nothing but Cloud running as an application in your own computer. So first step, download this application if you're planning to use this. Then in Cloud settings at the top, you can see general and developer. When you click developer, currently I got two MCP. So if you come at the bottom, you got edit config. Click on edit config. That will automatically open this Cloud desktop config. This is where you need to edit all the code. So you can even open with code editor of your choice. So this is how my current MCP list of servers looks like. Here's the stock price. Here is neon. For now, I'm going to keep only the stock price. To create the stock price application, first, we need to install all the required packages, pip install, MCP, CLI, and Yahoo Finance, and then click enter. So once after it gets installed, let's create a file called app.py and let's open it. Inside the file, first step, import Yahoo Finance as YF, then from MCP server, fast MCP, import fast MCP, then MCP equals fast MCP, giving the name as stock prices. Now defining the MCP dot tool. Now I'm going to create a function called get stock price. This is nothing but it uses the Yahoo Finance ticker, getting the current stock price and returning it. That's it. Only these few lines of code. These are just comments, doc string. Apart from that, only with this, it's able to get the 
current stock price using this Yahoo Finance package. So it's just one function, get stock price. So the next step, naming it as main mcp.run transport stdio. That's it. As simple as that. Now we created this one bit of code which does retrieving the stock price. So you can replace this function with any of your function, any API, any custom tools, and it does its work. And I haven't seen any other easy method to create MCP. And this is the easiest way to implement MCP. So after this, I'm going to click save. Now I can even right click on the app like this and then copy path and coming to this configuration. This is that path. So I've just pasted that path here and this command, the way I got this, I just typed which Python and it gave me this command and that's what I pasted it here. So this is all it takes to create a MCP server. Now let's test this. Now you might need to restart this Claude desktop app. Now I can just say, get the stock price of Apple. And now it's asking me permission, allowing for this chat. And now it got me the stock price of Apple. So if I go to the home screen, I can even see the list of MCP tool available here. So clicking on this will give me that there is get stock price MCP tool. Now we have successfully created a custom MCP tool and integrated that with Claude desktop. So step number one and two is now completed. Now let's see how you can integrate a database such as Neon with existing MCP server into your own application, such as Cursor or WinSurf. There are different websites such as Cursor directory to get the list of MCPs, Smithery, Glamour.ai to get the list of MCPs, and LM systems. But for now, I'm going to use Smithery and you can just type Neon. So here's the Neon database. So here you can add your API key, then it will automatically give you a command. Just copy the command and you got settings at the top. So click on the settings to open cursor settings, then go to MCP. There you can add new MCP server. Here's my stock price MCP server with the command and the basic Python command and app.py. But similarly, you can add your Neon as well. Adding a new MCP server, Neon and choosing command and adding that command with smithery gale and pasting it here and clicking save. That's it. Now it clearly shows you the list of available functions to try. So here is list projects. So let me try that. So this works only on the agent. So click on agent. I'm going to say list my projects in neon. Now it's going through that MCP and it got me the project details. Similarly, I can ask you to check my database, create schema and much more. So now we successfully integrated that with cursor. So step number three completed. Now step number four, that is WinSurf, how we can integrate that there. In WinSurf, you can see there's an icon called MCP. So clicking on that, you can just say configure, click on configure. And it's the same configuration as before, the one we did initially. And this is for Neon. I'll put all the code in the description below for you to try this out. Even in Smithery, you got for Claude, for Cursor, for WinSurf, or Client, anything you want to try. So once after you add the configuration, then click on refresh and you should be able to see neon on stock prices. So this confirms the availability of the tools. Now I can ask any question. List the branches in neon and it's now running the MCP tool. It's getting the project details automatically and it's giving me the branch and main branch is my primary and default branch. That is brilliant. So this is a basic example on how you can create a custom MCP and integrate that with your own IDE. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like MCP, I also created another video which clearly explains another way of creating a custom MCP, which I highly recommend for you to watch to get a full picture. And I will see you there.